Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I feel like doing a starter renovation today. I feel like we've been doing a lot of apartments recently and I just wanna do a house to mix it up a little bit. And I thought with generations coming out, oh no, what is this? <laughs> we'll just cover it up with hair. No one will ever know. With the Growing Together pack coming out soon, why don't we do like a starter suited to a new young family? I mean, I'm sure we're gonna build a starter where Growing Together comes out, but I'm getting all excited, I can't wait. So I found this family on the gallery by ES2PM. They tagged me or hashtagged me and I thought this looked like a really sweet little family, a single dad. Edmund lost his wife, mother of his two kids just before teen Caleb began high school. Edmund now has to juggle raising a teen a toddler and managing a business. Can he do it? Kayla recently started Copperdale High and so far she's had trouble making friends because she is an outcast seen as the weird girl with no mom. Oh, that is so mean. Her dream is to make friends and maybe have a SO for prom. What's an SO? We don't have prom in Australia. A significant other? Will she graduate or will she drop out? Love it. Thank you, S2BM. So if you guys want me to build for a family, you can always upload them using the hashtag Deligracy. I do check that hashtag now and then on the gallery and you never know, it might come up in a video. Aww, thank you. It's a little teddy bear in a racing car. All right, so I've just moved the family into a streamlet single. So this is just next to the Crick Cabana and Daisy Hovel in Willow Creek. And the family, um, you know, I think we can make this house look a lot better. <laughs> and there's a major problem, which is that it only has one bedroom. So seeing as though there's a teenager and a toddler, they're going to need some space as well. And this floor plan just is not that good. You know, you go, a TV in the middle of the room, a dining table, chairs on either end of it. You know, looking at this just gives me anxiety for just how impractical it is. I know that might sound dramatic, but it's true. <laughs> so I think we need to create like a warm family home space that's modern, fresh. I want to flip it, really transform this house. And in terms of The Sims, if we were making this house for them in real life, you'd wanna make sure the house represents them. So let's check out their personalities. Edmund is cheerful, proper, high maintenance and domestic. So maybe a warm, happy home that's also practical suits Edmund. Kayla, the teenager, is a party animal, romantic, relatable, so kind of like your typical teen. And then Andy's a bit of a little charmer there. Well, we've got another 9,000 smolens. I think what we should do is I would rip the roof off. Also take note that the bathroom doesn't have uh, tiles over it. And let's sell all of this furniture because sometimes these starter homes doesn't always have the cheapest stuff and you can make a little bit of money off what's already there. Although judging by all the items that they've used in this house, it, it is looking pretty cheap. It's gonna be really hard to stick within this budget. Like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but I'll try my best. And you know what? These windows are so small and because it's got like little squares of glass with the like wood going between them that does obstruct light from getting in and also you seeing out the window. So it's more of like an aesthetic thing. Like some people just love the look of it, which is fine. But I myself, I prefer like big windows that let in lots of sunlight because I'm one who can get a little bit claustrophobic sometimes. And I just love lots and lots of natural light. That's just what I do. Okay, I'm also wondering, would it be worth, did I just delete something? I mean, I just deleted a lot, I know, but something I wasn't aware of. We can keep this bin. This bin is like in the mailbox is able to remain. Also, how much is all of this landscaping stuff? $16, $29, 24, okay. I mean, this stuff isn't worth that much anyway, but we might get rid of the messy little. I feel like these aren't the nicest to look at. I was so tempted to do another apartment renovation today, you guys. I love an apartment renter. I know you know already, but I will start getting complaints if, if we keep doing apartments. I'm kind of like, tempted to even bump this out a little bit so it's like a little bit more space to fit in another bedroom. I mean 360 simoleons it's not that bad maybe maybe at the end of this I will regret that. I mean this floor plan is just it is so 
what is happening here? I, I just want to gut it all. I'm gonna put in flooring. Let's just have a blank canvas for now. And we just made 146 simoleons. Oh, because of the walls, right? Okay, now I'm like worried that I've gone over budget and changed this too much. Let's go back here. Can we build a ceiling right here? Thank you. It'd be nice to have an undercover area maybe over here just to give a little bit more space. Save these bushes. I would like to keep these. Okay, so foundations don't cost anything, I don't think. So we could maybe have like a little decking area. And then let's put maybe one cheap column in. 25 buckaroos, not bad. For a big steel post, some flooring over this. So it's gonna look nice and tidy when you're in live mode. Oh, actually, could we angle the roof into that column? You know, kind of like this, and then lower the column. All right, just for something a little a little bit different. Maybe do something over here. If you hold down shift, um, it means you can just control one side instead of both sides like it automatically does. I kind of want to bring this out ever so slightly too, just to maybe give us a little bit more interior space. So then that would overhang this, kind of cool. And then what happens with this little cube at the back? Can we make this look nice? <laughs> or does that just go across this whole back piece. <sighs> Roofing is not easy. It's never easy, is it? I mean, when in doubt, we can always just plonk square on top. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, uh, am I changing the original house too much if we don't take it back a smidge? This just seems a lot more balanced if we work with it this way. Like every angle looks better and it's the original floor plan too. So Let's just do it. And it's slightly cheaper. So the great thing with the Batu wallpaper is that it looks really modern and like concrete, but it only costs $2. <laughs> so we can always go with that in uh, this box area and interior feature walls if we want to do anything like that. The other reason why I really like this roof line is because uh, if you look at the original floor plan, there's this really awkward corner where you would walk into the house unless you want to walk into a room which would be pretty wasteful because that's a bedroom so it actually moves the entrance to the side here which will just look a little bit more balanced because it can be in the middle of the wall or just to the side not like literally in the corner if that makes sense so i, I like that a lot also we desperately need some lights in here don't we and of course we always go for our saucy saucy lights our saucy sauces which is also great because they're the cheapest if they were like really expensive that would that would be a shame i feel like this gray color is one great because it's like one of the few colors we can use in this game <laughs> that is contemporary and a good color but two it always looks very family friendly and it's a neutral so it's easy to pair furniture with so i like to use that one a lot but I desperately, 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 really, 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 really want more plain swatches for our basic wallpapers. We need more swatches so badly. I'm gonna send a Valentine's Day love card to The Sims. Roses are red, the wall swatches are bad. Please can we have some more colors? or else I'll be sad. You never know, they might be like, sure. And a really easy way to warm up a home is to use warm colored flooring, like a warm wood instead of a cool wood. This is cool, it looks cold. This is warm, it looks warm. We could go really warm and shiny. Oh my God, we're gonna make money from that? Wow. I'm kind of into maybe one of these, because if we start going up, ooh, this is actually really nice. I do love an eco lifestyle item. I would like this, but in big, wide flooring pieces. Okay, let's pretend the foundation just got painted or rendered. I know this is kind of a little cheeky because in real life, this would be a nightmare to do, but because we're in The Sims, can we just lower that a touch? It's up so high. Get some cheap stairs. Oh, that is not cheap. I mean, the other thing is if we lower it down even more, The Sims can step up onto this and you don't need a staircase. <laughs> So we're saving money, kind of. Should we do big cartoony roof line? Cause it can hide the column just that little bit better. Yes. Well, we could actually move you in. Hmm. This column is just like so thick. Can this go out any further? Oh, there we go. There we go. That works. All right. So now we just need like a really cheap wood to put on the exterior. This one is two simoleons. That's rough. We could do like a metal cladding. 
I mean, that's okay. Kind of bleak. The orange is kind of cool, but it looks a bit dated. And then the money goes up. This goes up by a dollar, folks. Oh, I like this. I like these verticals. They're really nice. They're from Outdoor Retreat. What? I mean, this is a classic. This always looks good and is pretty affordable. Well, there's our eco, which we love. How much are bricks? Oh, we do have $2 bricks. I really like the idea of growing the old base game trusty because I like that this gives a bit of a modern Scandinavian vibe. Scandy vibe by Australian standards. You guys in Scandinavia are probably like, no. <laughs> but that's what the interior design magazines say, okay? So we'll, we're going by them. This letterbox should be black. I feel like we need to tie in the exterior somehow with this darker color in the background. See, this is uh, this is risky because this is not a high budget build. So if we are using any extra decorative walls, it's like, oh boy. I really wanna put like a strip that meets the roof right here, but doing that, we could add a little bit extra here and then extend that then that because that does like tie it in a little bit and i think that looks really cool mm, grass roof i know this is a question for australians have you guys ever noticed any houses with grass roofs in australia i'm kind of thinking it's really difficult to do in australia but it's really easy to do or it's easier to do in other countries like i always see grass roofs on grand designs in the UK, but maybe Australia is just too dry and hot for it. Maybe someone with a really big budget can do it in Australia because they can just like pay for something epic. I know I want contrast right here and I feel like the gray is not enough contrast and part of me would love like a pop of color, but then I also feel like it's gonna end up looking like a fun house. Honestly, what will work the best is just black features. Let's go the black base game brick, everybody. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this roof thank god roofs are free in the sims can you imagine building a house and getting your roofing done for free that would be amazing okay i think this house is looking really nice and so far we haven't broken the budget yet oh my gosh this floor plan how are we gonna get two kids into this house as well as a main bedroom Ugh. well we are definitely going to utilize this little this little bit of space now that I'm looking at it, because that would be so silly not to. I don't mind this entrance area. I am wondering if this main bedroom can just be that little bit smaller. Let's get all of our essential furniture and we'll see how much that costs. What's my, my cheapest option for a double bed? Well, this one's a little bit ruined. This one's a blow up bed. So the best option is probably something like this. All of these bed covers are so dated. They look like when they when the game came out, which obviously makes sense because this is a little bit older now. I don't like any of these bed covers. I'm just gonna get the old bed. All right, so if this is a main bedroom, we can make it a little smaller, add a bit more space here because now we could actually fit a dresser in this corner, which is very good. Okay, is it cheaper to get one of these clothes put on a railing? I really wish they put those in this category because they're not even in storage surfaces okay how much are these these start at $80 so I think it's going to be $180 which oh actually you can get these for $50 okay so $50 plus $100 is 150 which is actually cheaper than this which is $240 or the kids one which is $170 so actually that that's pretty good oh what that doesn't oh it does for a second I thought it didn't have a shelf there all right so this is for the dad so we'll go with the uh, male clothes. They look so small though. Okay, we're, we're gonna need to get two of these. At the end of the day, that's gonna end up costing more, so we may as well just get this. <laughs> and we'd probably need at least one side table. Actually, you know what? We can do without it for now. We'll just see how we go. What we do need is a door. I love these really cheap glass doors. Glass doors for $50. Who needs privacy? Otherwise, for a modern door, we're looking at 75 small. It's much better to get that door for our design. Okay, so then this would be the bathroom. We may have to make do with one bathroom in this household. Then this over here, this was actually the kitchen. This could make a nice little study nook. I'm just looking at that, that, that right now. Or we could have a study nook at the end here, actually. Where are we going to put kitchen, lounge, and bedroom? Well, if this is going to be the second bedroom for the two kids to share, it does have to be extended a little bit. Because there's no way we're going to fit a lounge room, dining spot, and kitchen in here without it being severely cramped. So let's 
do that. And this will be a shared kids bedroom. Oh my gosh, I just realized we have no windows. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Oops. I would love a sliding door in this house because it's like the cost of windows and door in one. And then I think it's best to just go $20 eco windows and like the $30 snowy escape square window. I just realized these tea trees from Sulani only cost $35 simoleons such a bargain for landscaping even though they look kind of bad at this time of year bring the tropics to willow creek also this grass is so like white and sad looking i know i said we were putting in essentials but now i've wrote i'm landscaping okay you gotta get focused deli now we will put tiles or something in the bathroom but let's just start with some furnishing we'll obviously need a toilet We'll obviously need a potty. Potty. There we go. Oh god, we're gonna need a bathtub for the toddler. Which, if we want to have a shower included, that's got quite the quite the price tag. Or we could just have a cheaper bathtub for now. Oh, I so wish we could just use that shower head. Dang it, toddler. Because this looks a little bit old-fashioned for the house. This one would be better, but this one's like one thousand five hundred dollars. So yeah, let's just. Let's stick with a classic cheaper bathtub. And then your Sims will just have to have baths. And I do like this DIY sink for 140. Although for $10 extra, we can get like a really nice looking vanity. So let, let's do that. Do we have to now budget for light switches and starter homes? Cause $20 a light switch is gonna add up. It's gonna add up folks. Also, I don't think that potty is gonna actually fit in there. So we'll put that out there. Essentials in the bathroom done. We've got the windows. All right, we're gonna need a bed for the teen and we're going to need a bed for the toddler. I would really love to get like a nice bed for the teenager. Like something like this is quite nice if we can afford it. And then I feel like the toddler doesn't mind so much. I think this is a good color scheme for the kids room. It's always hard when you're like putting a toddler with a teenager because they're just such different life stages. You know also I'm a little bit unhappy with how this sits a little bit down from the top of the window when it clips onto it it should be like covering the top of it so i mean that's already 150 something this has the same problem the other thing is i feel like this should reach the ground so you'd really want this length it's a bit tricky isn't it and then i do like this i might hold off on the curtains for a moment pop in some bedside tables this one's pretty cute for a little sod toddler side table and then they'll need some kind of wardrobe as well i mean this is the cheapest actually that might fit better over in this corner and then maybe we have a shorter window above it you know something like that so i don't like this bedside table anymore can you use this as a bedside table i mean that's cute and maybe we just size up this 15 dollars rug nice little hack there <laughs> make it look like we have a nice big rug in the room we could probably also get rid of a light in here and then have bedside lamps to brighten it up a a little bit that's always fun although that would be really hard to read with i mean i like this because it looks like you could bend it to face the bed to read a book so maybe let's just go with those little spotlights okay so now comes the really hard part which is the kitchen the living the dining chairs for eleven thousand dollars this is gonna be rough kids and i think we're gonna just have to go with these kinds of curtains I and mean, i'm gonna place the curtains before the window this time do we want orange or do we want blue it probably works better for the main bedroom if we have a bit of extra money at the end i would like to replace that bed even with just the newer version of it a little a little too big that rug go the brown version actually one of these lights can be a plant there we go who says you need to have two side tables and i I think this comes in a really nice green color that will kind of pair with the wall. It kind of goes. Or do we just get the lighter green wallpaper? What was it from? Eco. Yeah, that looks better. Actually, maybe this room would look nicer with this more vibrant wallpaper. Well, yeah, brighten up the kids' room a little bit. Fun. What if we extended this wall to create a wall to put a tv on eventually even if we can't really afford the tv now also this this potty should maybe just go in here because then we could put a couch against this wall keep the original floor plan for the most part like put a couch here or even a longer couch tvs are so expensive that's three thousand dollars for that unit 
2000 for this one. So I don't even know if we're gonna be able to afford this. The other option is to put the couch here and have the chair over on this side. I mean, what would make more sense? I guess I could go either way. And then my idea was to have a dining area over here and then the kitchen could just, you know, be behind this wall and be more of a galley style. Put fridge over here. I really want to use some nice counters. Let's see if we do it. Oh, I'm cringing at the price, at the money going down. I gotta be honest, I'm really not enjoying that dining table. Really love to have something like this. I mean, do we like this? Does that look, I look better? Or do all of these legs just look weird together? I mean, the truth is, these are some bougie chairs right here. And it's expensive, but it does look good. Ooh, what if we expanded the bathroom? Because there's only one bathroom. So could we like make the main bathroom a little bigger? Cause there's a lot of action. Oh, this is working. This is working really nicely. Okay, we don't need those windows. They're too, too thick. Too big for a kitchen to have cabinets as well. To have a couple of these. Okay, I think we're actually working okay. We're still within budget. <laughs> these cheap cupboards go with these ones really well oh wait what 135 dollars still okay it's not as cheap as i'd hoped <laughs> i thought they were 35 dollars and i got really excited but you know they're cheaper than 190 oh could we get the beat up ones oh it doesn't come in that colorway maybe these can go down a touch also what do we want to put on this wall do we want to go with the bricks i'm so sick of doing black kitchens i've done a black kitchen for like the last four builds. What colors are we working with? We've got blue, orange, maybe we do dark blue in the kimchi. This is actually turning out to be very nice. There are a few changes here and there, but we're still within our budget, you guys. We're still doing very well. Okay, if we go the really nice oven and the really nice stove, that's a thousand dollars. Or we could have just gone like the freestanding for 400. I mean, maybe we just do that and then you guys can upgrade it if if you want to download this and you got to have a coffee machine that that's just absolutely necessary. Can we afford a fun pendant light? This one came with the plant kit and it's just such a lovely addition to any home. I sound like a real estate agent. Agent. These lights by String of Pearls are just such a great addition to any home. I love it. So this, which is pretty cool. See, it's these little details that really do make the house come to life, you know. I wonder if we make this orange, if it'll tie into the carpet. What do you guys think? Works either way. I like the orange, it's just a bit more fun. Okay, so <laughs> the bathroom, we also need to have a little look back at because it's been expanded. I just think we could probably add in the shower now separately because we are going really, really well with our budget. Be proud of us. But let's go this terracotta style to tie into the other warm colors in this house. I'm actually thinking just a full length window in here will be way nicer. There we go. That's all right. I use these rugs so much, but it's so handy. And yeah, it'd be super annoying to have a full length mirror next to here, but this is $40. And the little mirrors are like $50. So this is way cooler. I mean, we can just place it behind if we want to. Hectic though. Let's put a hanging plant in. How much is a hanging plant? Plants always make everything look a million times best. 75 simoleons is a little rough, but it does transform the space in a very big way. You know what we need above the sink? We need the tiny living bathroom thing. That's always worth the price. $100. That is a bargain. Oh, this is always so nice in the kitchen. Oh, look, it ties into the wall color beautifully. You even put it like right on that wall. Cute. So I guess what we have left in our budget is the living room because obviously there's like nothing here. Decor. I mean, I would love a study, but I just like I would have put a study space down here. You know, I love this big sliding door, but if we do reduce the door and maybe put something like this in or this actually that's that's really nice this could be an area for a bookshelf or home office so we could just put a little bit of budget to at least putting a desk here we don't really have to do much else with it so at least there's the option of something being down there in the future so i guess with our last four thousand dollars the question is do we get a tv i think we should just get the unit because that'll just 
be so much more fun for the family to enjoy. And then we can just get like a cheap coffee table. Square one's a bit big. We need some very cheap wall art. This isn't cheap, but it looks so nice in here. Guys, I'm making money from changing this wallpaper. I'm taking away that gray wallpaper so we can have more to spend. Ooh, the blue strip's kind of cool. Let's maybe put in just a little something for the toddler to also play with, just to make the house look a little bit more family friendly as well. Just looking a little adult-y. Okay, I think we are ready. This is our completely renovated house, and it's kind of amazing that this still has pretty much the exact same floor plan. So it's amazing what a new roof and a bit of additions here and there can do. But yeah, it's a lovely modern house now. It's looking very fresh, very new. I would love to do more landscaping, of course, but we're a little bit restricted with our budget. Um, but we, we came within the budget out here. I would love to put like some chairs maybe, but let's go inside. So I did change a few of the wallpapers. We do now have this metal feature wall. I just thought it was kind of cool and different, um, but this would be a home study nook. So gradually your Sims could have laptops here for your teen or your adult, um, or they might just get that from school or work. I can't remember if they get laptops at school. I don't know if they do. And then down here, this is our lovely living area and it works so well. I love this bright orange coffee table. I just think it's that pop we need. Uh, if we go into this room, this is the master bedroom. It's still the older bed, but you know what? That's okay. We all have to deal with old things and then hopefully one day upgrade them. There's a little bit of room here for a skill building item maybe. A really nice room. And we've got our living area, gorgeous. And then down here, this is our kitchen and dining area with the high chair that I added. Almost forgot a high chair. Um, but yeah, they're already enjoying this space and I think this is so nice and warm and just fun and quite youthful. Like I feel like the dad's done a really good job of creating a really fun home for the family. And I just love this floor plan so much. Then we've got the main bathroom. I would have loved to add it. I would love to add an ensuite is what I'm trying to say, but of course we're restricted with our budget. Um, but you know what? You could definitely build up on this. You could add bits and bobs onto it. So yeah, this is a great house. And there's no custom content in this either. So if you're on console, you'll be able to download it. And this is the shared room for the kids. Um, I feel like this was pretty low budget, but it's worked out really well uh, just with those really simple wall decals. And it's a nice, cozy, calm bedroom in here for them to share. And there's room to put some school homework or decorations use a craft table from a community lot and hang them up at home. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this place. And also if you would like to see the floor plan, uh, this is, wait, I'll go from the front. This is uh, what it's been changed to. I mean, we added this little bit here. I think we expanded the bathroom and then I think we just expanded this room a touch. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an upgrade from the original floor plan. That's for sure. It just works really well. It flows really well and I am proud of what we've done here today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you very much to my members for supporting this channel as well. I've just updated for some new names to come up here. So if you haven't seen your name, hopefully it's there now. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon. Ta -ta.